Satana of Sokoto is protecting the infidels. He is now in the business of telling you the gospel of Jesus. He is now protecting you to go and worship your Jesus that made you an infidel before them. My people perish for lack of knowledge, says the Bible. Welcome to M Special. <laughs> Wonders shall never end. This is M Special. If you have not subscribed to our channel, please do subscribe. You are highly welcome. Thank you for watching our videos. Sunday sit at home in Biafra land continues. All the while, since nine, before 1969 to date, you, the Biafrans, are infidels before the Sultan of Sokoto. And all of a sudden, you became his lovely friends. He unleashed mayhem on all of you. He killed you in the church, burned you with your church, killed your pastors, beheaded the Khan presidents. Done all atrocities against the children of God. And today, Satan itself is telling you to go and pray to Jesus. Are you sure you are thinking well? Are you sure your brains are intact? Are you sure you are still processing actions which made you a human being? If you hear all this and you are still thinking of going to church on Sunday, I want to tell you that you will be an abomination before God without any apology. The Nigerian police that refused to protect you in your farms, the Nigerian military that will lead the terrorists to come and pluck you out. In Imo State, they are going from house to house, killing our children, dumping them in burrow pits in our bushes. When it fills up, they will close. And today they are calling you to go to church. And why you they are being killed? We are being killed is because you are you are going to church. You call yourself Christian. This message is too heavy. I don't even know where to start. Are we still human beings? Do we still process our, our actions? Do we still analyze talks when they come to us as statements? Sultana of Sokoto is now protecting Christians the infidels to go to church to worship their infidel god hey there's nothing we will not hear nigeria police now has enough police to go to churches to protect churches that they are burning terrorists are killing people right inside even in a Christ on a christmas day and no nothing will happen nobody will be arrested and today they are telling you to go to your churches and close early so far you go and you know it's all about your freedom. And you know that Mazin Namde Ukano is not eating where he is. And you know that they are torturing him, trying to make him to die. And Wazurike now is drinking with those, some of them that are working, was working with Mazin. And you want to go to church. And you are preparing for Christmas. Wow. My people perish for lack of knowledge. If you love your life, if you call yourself a true child of God, you're supposed to know that God lives in you. If you are a Christian that believes that going to church is the only thing that makes you to be a child of God, then take it that you are not worshipping nothing and pagans are better than you. If there, are any, if there is anything called pagan, they are better than you. Because they understood that their God is with them anywhere at any time. While you, that say you read the Bible, believe that your God is there only when you go inside the church to call. That is the only time he will love you. Because you are not going to look for God. You are going to look for your friends and to show your faces to your pastors. You are social club church members. That is the truth of the matter. That's why the Nigerian... Christians are the worst because 
you cannot be worshipping God and you have no spirit of discernment. And when a prophet speaks, you don't know the right prophet and you don't know the wrong one. You don't know the right channel to follow and you don't know the wrong one. You are just going like a goat. Sunday sit at home continues for your own good. But if you think that all of a sudden, through your prayer, the only thing your prayer can do is for Satan of Sokoto to repent and tell you to still go to church. <laughs> then, it's time for you to use your tongue and count your teeth. When the cloth in the, in the temple tore, to, tore apart when Jesus died, what, did, what does that signify to you? As somebody that read the Bible or understand the God you serve. In case you don't know, the significance is that God can be worshipped anywhere. Because at that time, it's only in the temple when they go to the temple to do rituals, to pray, appease God and ask for the forgiveness of sins, that they believe God hears them. But on that particular moment, that that cloth of the Holy of Holies tore apart, that shows that God is everywhere and can answer you from everywhere, anywhere. Did you read the Old Testament about Ezekiel? When Ezekiel was calling God in the land of exile, telling God how he was dreaming for him to serve, for him, to serve him in his temple and seeing him, himself in a very far away country from the temple, he was thinking God was not, is no longer, was not with him. And the cloud came and spoke when he knew that God is everywhere he is. Did you remember that version of Old Testament? You know, the worst thing is that the Christians in Nigeria don't even read the Bible. They only, the only Bible they read is what their pastors and their reverend fathers tell them on the, pit, on the pulpits. They are so lazy that they don't read their Bible. That is the truth. They don't read their Bible. And when they read, they will understand it upside down the way their pastors want them to understand. And majority of the pastors are, are satanic pastors. They are there for their pockets. Unfortunately, those that will tell them the truth, they don't have the crowd. The crowd, the crowd will not go there. So majority of them has become good. Sunday, sit at home, continues. Save your life and shine your eyes. That's the only thing I have to say in this video. Sunday, sit at home, continues. The Satan of Sokoto has turned to repent to be your friend. Don't forget you are an infidel before their eyes. Thank you and shine your 